Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Momir. Um, yeah, this hand is fine. We want Mulligan. Nah, just kidding. Obviously, we want Mulligan. Uh, we lost the last one. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a real doozy. Um, I basically get out drown like six times. No, not not a lot, but I mean, I have the win locked up. Uh, then I have a really good card locked up, and he gets the out that he needs. Um, two times, so yeah. Uh, obviously, I won't. Oh, I can play pay this uh, next turn because I won't be making a three drop on the play, so I can pay that. Um, sorry if you do hear Skype. Someone just bugged me. It's a one one with. Oh, it's actually two two. Oh, that's that's pretty b pretty bad. Uh, so we do attack here. Okay, we will pay to. Okay. I mean, this seems odd uh, for most people, but obviously, uh, when we're on the play, we decide to make a two drop over three drop, so we actually skip our three drop. Uh, so now we can actually invest the mana in this, uh, not take the three damage ourselves. Obviously, next turn we'll be making a four drop and not care about it. Um, let me just drag it here and put me on busy um, so that you people won't be annoyed by it. A uh, mirror entity, probably pretty good, right? Um, it's just a 1 1 now, but once you have some mana later on, uh, you can make every creature an 8 8. I'm pretty sure most of the creatures uh, can't handle that. Um, so at 4 we will attack first, uh, won't pay this, um, you can always attack with mirror entity and this next turn, uh, assuming I don't have, um, don't block, uh, he can pump if I do a block, he has to pump, um, so probably the attack won't be that good. Then uh, we do get a 2 3 trample. So, yeah, it's just 2 3 trample. Uh, we attack with both, obviously, we're blocking. If we attack with this, obviously, we're blocking. We want him to waste his turn by using mirror entity here. And if he does, I mean, we can attack the turn after that for 5. Obviously, we're taking damage ourselves, but uh, he does attack with the mirror entity, so obviously, we're blocking. We want him to sink mana in this. Uh, stop him from dropping creatures uh, and we do win the race if he just uh, keeps doing this every turn right he doesn't have trample or anything I mean it doesn't matter uh, he should attack with both just to have the 3 damage in there uh, but this has minus 1 minus 1 counter so that doesn't actually work um, so he decides to just start making 1 drops then I mean that's fine um so most of our creatures become really good um so here again we'll attack uh we won't prevent this he does block so yeah so now when he attacks with both we obviously block the mirror entity again if he just attacks with this uh we don't block i mean if he wants to pump he wants to pump that's fine if you want to do five damage you can do it, but you have to pay for it. Pretty steep price, uh, just to do five damage. Which it doesn't. Um, that's just a four-four. I mean, it obviously is a good creature. Um, uh, we get a six-five flying, but it loses me life. Um, I'm just bleeding life here, ain't I? Uh, we attack with this. But then he attacks with everything and I die, so I can't attack yet. I have to have full lethal before something. Before I can do something. And that's the power of mirror entity, right? Next turn he just has three six sixes. Um, so if he attacks, I have to start blocking. Um, I can double block this or just this. I assume I block Sylvan Safekeeper. Now we'll double block, 
um, so he has to totally pump then we still have a 3-2 um, he loses his entire turn yeah uh, but we still uh, have a creature behind now and he loses his entire turn uh, using mirror entity he actually pumps it as 5-5 five five. obviously that does the same so we can make a a one drop uh, this is the second time he does it like this uh, but I mean yeah mirror entity pretty nuts card right uh, next turn draw 7-7s seven sevens anyway so it's really hard for me to come back from this unless I get a removal um, I mean even that isn't good enough right um, everything is a 7-7 seven seven, so I have to block block and then hope I get hoverguard sweepers or something I mean I obviously block he has to pump fully um, or just for 6 that's fine as well uh, instead he decides to make a drop uh, which is no he, he pumps he pumps fully um, I wouldn't have done it this fast I would have seen first what happens. I mean, I could make a mistake. He will al will also always allow your opponent to make a mistake. Uh, here I can get Leviathan or Hoverguard Sweepers. Doesn't look likely though. Uh, Mirror Entity, pretty nuts card. Especially if you get a creature every turn and a land drop every turn. With certainty and the same for your opponent. Uh, he makes a zero. Um, yeah, I forgot that you could do that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Hoverguard Sweepers is obviously something I want. Uh, instead we gain... Pretty trash card, so we'll concede here. Um, he played it fine. Um, I think he made one mistake, but... Uh, obviously we want to play first. We want Mulligan. We'll play a Mountain. Make a 2 drop. Ah, we shouldn't have ditched giant. Uh, so here we finally do get our first mana acceleration. Uh, this is the very first time. It's actually Vine Trellis as 0 4. So now we can skip our. Uh, 3 in total. So we just get, get to make 4 drops on the play. It becomes. A 5-5. Five five. It just becomes a 5-5 five five next turn. I mean, a 5-5 five five, um, is something that's hard for him to deal with. If no spells are cursed. So is it a 5-5 five five now? I have no clue. Um, so we're ahead of the curve. He's making 3 drops while me make 5 drops. Um, I have no clue why this doesn't flip, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's a token, obviously. Uh, tokens don't flip. Um, it's just a 3-3 three, three flyer. So you would just have a 3-2, he can double block. Uh, that's fine. We're ahead of the curve anyway, uh, so we should be making 6 drops next turn. Well, he's making 4 and 5 drops still. Uh, that's the benefit of making 2 drop, by the way, over 3 drop. Because if you do hit, it's pretty bonkers. Uh, Click Sister is a nice card. Uh, it's just 3 3 haze here. Um, we won't take the trade yet. I mean, we'll just make it 6 first, see what comes of it. And it probably is bigger than a 3 3, right? Uh, he has to sacrifice a specific card, a goblin, so he has to have a goblin. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so it is indeed bigger, it has Intimidate. Uh, intimidate, for those who do not know, it can only be blocked by creatures of its own color. Or artifacts? Is it also artifacts? I'm not sure. Um, then um, it also gives Intimidate to all my other creatures. It's basically a pretty good card. Um, yeah, named card, pretty great. Um, I don't think Momir is a card though. And even if he names this, wouldn't be a good choice. Um, he can block this. Um, if he wants to, that's fine by me. 
I still can't block this though. I think he's looking for Momir, um, but it's not a card. It's an avatar. Um, what's also really interesting by this is that uh, it says activate the ability of, of sources with the chosen name card. Token isn't a card. Stuff like that. Um, so here we get to make a 7. If this would tap. Tap please. Oh, he obviously puts uh, fine trellis. That's pretty good. Uh, we get a 6 3 red green intimidate, of course. Um, so we're still ahead of the curve. He can block, and then the fine trellis is open. So he makes the block. Uh, so next turn, we'll be making 8s. Uh, and we also have a 6 3 intimidate and a 4 4 intimidate. So we'll see what he gets for his 6. Hopefully nothing insane. It's just a 3-2 flyer. Uh, it can block this, but I mean, it's no biggie. Uh, he can block this with the click slitter. Obviously we'll make an 8 here. Uh, yeah, flying first strike, vigilance, lifelink, protection from red and from green. Assume that's pretty much GG, right? Uh, unless, of course, he gets something really good. He can block uh, both of these. Uh, it says only you control, so. So he goes down to 9. Uh, this didn't have ace, right? No. I mean, this is good enough. <laughs> it has protection from two colors flying for stack, vigilance, life link, all of those. And now also intimidate. Uh, which 7 drop could he hit that wins him? Uh, Phage? No. Uh, yeah, that's just a 5 4. Uh, it can block this, and this can block this, but um, I'm fine with trading there, right? Just making more A traps. We get Bosch, uh, which basically wins us the game next turn. Because both of these are artifacts as well. Uh, so you can just sacrifice both of those and give him lethal uh, in case he has something really good. You can just go pew pew and kill both of them. Pew 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 pew. Um, yeah, hoverguard sweepers, I guess. Leviathan. Return each other creature you control to its owner's hand. So that's GG. Yeah, he can see it's. Uh, so it's 1 1, right? Uh, we lost the first one, I guess. Yeah, we lost the first one. Um, no. Did he choose to play? He chose to play. So we get to make 2-2 two, two drops. So for the very first time in a video I recorded, you see why you make 2 drops over 3 drops. The mana acceleration you get is pretty good. Um, we have multiple islands, so... If only I had a planes. It's a 2-1 first strike lifelinker. Not bad. Sadly enough, I do not control plane. Uh, Wake Treasure <laughs> is pretty bonkers. Uh, so we will make a 3 drop trying to uh, get it there, but Wake Treasure is really, really good. Creatures with power less than Champion of Flow Bolt can't block creatures you control. That's pretty good. Um, so basically, he can't block with Wake Treasure, but I mean, it becomes a 4 4 during his turn. I uh, should have attacked, obviously, I'm not gonna block there. Uh, and he's not gonna do the block, so I missed two damage there. My own fault. Uh, and it could turn out into a raise against something like a weight treasure. Uh, this becomes bigger every turn, though. Um, so, yeah. He gets a uh, 2 2 trample. Uh, that he can't tap, so even if he doesn't attack, he can't tap it to grow his own weight treasure. So yeah, um, I don't think I'll ever win the race against the weak treasure either, especially now. So we'll discard the island, we have no use for it. So just a 4-3 blue creature. 
Uh, this becomes a 6-6, six, six, so we can double block and kill it. Um, if he attacks, we obviously have to do that. I mean, else big treasure just... Oh, he can actually do that instantly because he doesn't do it himself, so it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, we can quad <laughs> a triple block it and lose all three creatures of it. Um, I assume we have to. I mean, wake treasure is just really good, right? Uh, this seems really good, but I mean, we're on the back foot here. We have to uh, get rid of the wake treasure because it, it'll get out of control eventually. Uh, he does get a flyer. We do not have flyer yet, so uh, we can't just take the damage of the treasure here. I think we have to triple block and hope um, we get something good during our own turn. So yeah, uh, everything dies, sadly enough. Uh, we could have taken that trade uh, next turn as well, but we just get a 4-4. Four four. Well, he has a 3-4 flying protection from red. Yeah, that doesn't do anything anymore, does it? Uh, so attack here, go down to 30. That, that was the reason why I didn't wait the next turn, because he got a flyer. Uh, it's gonna put put the clock on us, and if we were at nine, for the for the way to be clock on us. Uh, here he has four two and dying. So it's just a four two. Uh, dying obviously doesn't trigger on tokens. Um, yeah. So we're willing to trade there, but uh, he obviously isn't. Uh, we get a four four flyer, so. Uh, he can't do anything with this anymore. So now we will attack, I guess. Um, he can block. No, we won't attack with this. Yet. Uh, if we attack with this next turn, he actually has to block because else he loses two, two lands. So we force him to block here. Or he loses uh, his A drop possibility. Unless, of course, he gets something really good. Just a 4-5. Um, so if we attack, I assume he blocks. He Seems pretty keen on blocking there. Um, obviously, we block here. We're not gonna <laughs> lose our flyer. <laughs> yeah, and dying triggers doesn't matter. Doesn't work. Uh, we'll make our seven drop first. Gain more information about what we're getting on the board. And we get a seven four first strike protection from legendary creatures. Destroy target legendary creature. Uh, it does trade with this though, but I mean we can't just. I oh know it doesn't trade because that's first strike. Uh, first strike, really good. Um, I assume he blocks that he wants to keep his 8 drops open. Uh, he might just think, no, I won't block, I'll make a 7 drop and keep this up. But I mean, I would just want to attack with it on the future then, seeing as I do have control here. And then I can just attack with uh, this guy anyway. So yeah, here he has to discard his hand, uh, which is obviously a land. I looked into the graveyard, but I mean, obviously it's a land. Uh, but it, this allows him to make 8 drops. And it's worth taking an extra 3. Um, yeah, uh, if he attacks with that, obviously I have to block like this. The first strike will trigger. That does 5. 5. Um, it's basically lethal, right? No, I it isn't. Uh, but I have to really be really careful about this. Whenever another creature you control dies, um, and dies is just from going from the battlefield to the graveyard, so that actually works. Um, so yeah, here we just kill a mountain, I guess. We can attack with a specter, but I assume we have to play it a bit more safe. Uh, this is gonna win him the game. He can just throw creatures in our face and. Um, we have to block and get it killed and then this kills us. Wow. So just a 6-6 six, six flying vigilance. Not bad. Uh, for 6 even. So yeah. Uh, what do you want? We obviously want Hoverguard Sweepers for these two. Uh, because even if we get rid of this, this is gonna kick our ass for now. This is really a pain in the ass, I mean, 
he can just throw a creature in your face like this, right? Like the 4-5 and just 4 direct damage to us. There's no way we have an out against that. Um, unless, of course, we get a really good thing. Uh, we can't... Uh, neither can we just take it. Uh, because then we would just... Uh, be... <laughs> uh, he would have the creature. But, I mean, that's the power of that card in this format. And we get a 7-6 uh, flyer. So... Yeah, we might still um, win this, assuming he plays it wrong. If he attacks with this as well, we can pluck it with the um, with the first striker. So we'll just give him the option to make the mistake. Um, we could also use this to kill this. This is obviously isn't legendary. Uh, also, could use his ability. Which I would like, um, but yeah, I mean that's GG. Uh, I can block, block, uh, but these triggers will kill me. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future.